can at least ask whether or to what extent the policies of our times have contributed to these problems of our time. Looking ahead to the future, one of the things that we need to focus on are facts about results, not rhetoric about intentions. We need to look not at the noble preambles of, of legislation, but at the incentives created in that legislation. Very often legislation intended to help the disadvantaged, in fact, pay people to stay disadvantaged, penalize them to the extent that they make an effort to rise from disadvantage. One of the problems in dealing with the politics of poverty and the programs for the disadvantaged in general, and blacks in particular, is that vast empires can be built on these programs. That these programs definitely prevent poverty among bureaucrats, economists, statisticians, and many others. I think that what this betrays is a sense, uh, a sort of proprietary conception of blacks, somewhat at variance with the spirit of the 13th Amendment. I think that if insofar as we're going to enlist the intelligence, the desires, and the commitments of blacks themselves, we have to do so by offering more choice in more areas to let them decide what is best for themselves and not to turn that job over to academics and government officials. Thank you.